Hey up lads and lasses, how's the doing? Welcome back to another Fleet in Focus, episode 6 today. In today's episode we'll be looking at SP51 AWV, which is currently branded for the Calcaria Connection. Now this was new to Strafte Scottish as 701 back in late 2001. And then eventually Stagecoach took over and it became 16921. And this lived much of its life, uh, 13 years of its life, there until uh, in 2014 it transferred over to the Fife Division of Stagecoach in Scotland. In 2017 it was put up for sale and it was bought by us here at Connections. We had painted it up in a two-tone green livery for the Kokaria Connection as you've seen on the front. Now, Kokaria is a Roman name, uh, and that is basically what is now known as Tadcaster. Now, the route that this was purchased for was the X70, which at the time ran from uh, Harrogate through Weatherby to Tadcaster, hence the name. Now, more recently, the service has been uh, shortened, so it just goes as far as Weatherby, but the name still lives on. So, what is SP51? AWV. Well, it's a East Lanks Coachworks um, Viking, spelt V Y K I N G. I think it's quite appropriate, really, because uh, the Vikings did take over sort of the, this part of Yorkshire and probably much more of it. Um, you know, we have the Jorvik Centre in York, which Jorvik was the Viking name for York, so it's rather fitting that this is called a Viking and it may well have done the service to York, so a Viking in a Viking town. It's a B7TL is this, uh, that's why it's called a Viking and not any of the many other names that East Lanks have given similar bodied vehicles depending on the chassis and engines. And this has a automatic ZF six speed gearbox as well. So internally, it's pretty standard spec for your average double-decker bus. Uh, it's a 76-seater. 29 are down here, including in the buggy area. And you'll notice they're all stagecoach seats as though they've been retrimmed, but it looks like they've replaced these two with the original. Up here there are 47 seats, all in stagecoaches. Okay, and I must say these particular seats, uh, quite commonly found on Stagecoach Vikings, are very comfortable, so sort of high backed, very well padded, yes very very comfortable indeed. Now I have this one this week because um, I did have a mechanical fault quite a while ago actually, around Christmas time I think. Um, we had a, I believe it was an engine issue and it wouldn't start. So it's spent a lot of this time recently just sitting around. But we've got it working again. Um, so I've had to clean like six months worth of grime and muck and all sorts. So I think that's a job well done. Looking at it now, I'll put some pictures on as to what it was before. We had four of these Vikings, two in this livery, which was uh, AWW, which was the EBA connection, uh, which is a, uh, I think that was a Viking name, the Tadcaster, and then there was this one. We have AWX, which is in the standard livery, and we have ST52 NTN, all of which came from Stagecoach up in Scotland. So they all had very, very similar lives. Uh, NTN came a little after these three, I believe. But yes, all of which are still, well, three are used in service, so I think they're pretty solid motors to say that they are fairly old now, given that it's 2019, they'll be 17, 18 years old, and they're still going very strong. Of course now mostly they'll be used on school services, but they have popped onto normal public services as well, and I've managed to catch a ride on them, and they still seem very, very nice, very smooth and they still go quite quick. One thing I do dislike is the choice of colour for all the bulkheads. I mean, brown is not a very attractive colour, especially for the inside, but mustn't grumble. 
the rest of the bus is still quite nice. And so with that said, I'm going to wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you all next week. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.